Hello guys, welcome back. This is your boy here, Adam Slink. How you guys doing? Welcome to another video. I try as much as possible, guys, as usual. Support your boy. Like this video, comment, share it on social platform. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Adam Slink. And make sure you subscribe and click the bell notification to get updates anytime, any day I upload. And also, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching this video from. So, guys, uh, firstly, this news is quite sad. It's about a woman who was shot dead by suspected bandits in front of her children after her mother's burial so this woman returned in fact let me read it the gunman suspected to be bandit have shot dead a uk based nigeria woman who returned to nigeria for her mother's burial rights the unfortunate incident occurred on tuesday august 19 2021 along lagos ibado expressway why the disease was in company of our two children according to report after her mother's funeral reception in victoria island lagos she decided to visit oyo state unfortunately she was shot dead in her car by bandits at the guru village on the lagos ibadan expressway quite really really unfortunate this woman nigeria her home country her country, her father's country, her mother's country has failed her. And I bet you her mom, her home mom that she buried, will be so sad, so hungry, that her child has to lost her life simply because she wanted to do what is right. Coming down from UK to Nigeria to bury her mom and get killed, by bandit shot dead in front of her children this woman have lived in uk at least 10 years nothing happened to her nothing no police have no police arresting her nothing no bandit no criminal possibly no thief ever visited her house but just to come into this country to bury her mom guess what she lost her life she lost her life and this country has failed, not only this woman, our own kids. Do you, can you, in fact, know the kind of trauma, the kind of memory this incident we leave in our own case had? Like, nothing will make them come to Nigeria as soon as they get their legs out of this country. Nothing again, because this country failed her mother feel so many people who has who have in one way or the other lost loved ones or through banditry accidents and so many other stuff well it's quite unfortunate may are so gentle so continue to rest in peace check out this really funny news about bandits bandits invade nigeria defense academy in kaduna kill three soldiers and adopting several others a civil witness who work in the fortified facility as a supporting member told people gazette that the incident occurred overnight on tuesday the witness said three soldiers were killed and several officers including at least two majors were adopted the nigeria military trained elite cadet officers in the academy it was not immediately clear whether or not students were adopted <laughs> this guy is the bandit are trying as much as possible to make a statement and that statement is we can do whatever we 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 want in this country and nobody can hold us accountable for anything that's the kind of statement they are making if bandit can storm nigeria defense academy kill soldiers kidnap soldiers who are you as an ordinary citizen and you are calling on the government to assist you just imagine that kind of mentality that we Nigerians have. That, that already knowing that we are just living by God's grace in this country. No, it's not supposed to be so. Because God has already given us the tools, the equipment, whatever we need to defend ourselves against some really, really wicked set of persons. Well, guys, ah, it's surprising though. And uh, guess what? EFCC, you know, we want a lot of people to to, to be a, a lot of uh, security agencies to assist in 
this bandit and other uh, kidnapping issues in this country. Guess what they are doing? EFCC has said yesterday, we I reported about how the storm Dorothy, former Bibi Ninja housemate house, and the Dorothy came on our Instagram social media page to castigate EFCC. Guess what? After she castigated EFCC, EFCC released a public statement, and after that, they went to Dorothy out to arrest her for castigating their operation. Can you imagine in this country? Can you imagine in this country? You call out people for not doing their job properly. They, they come after you, they come to your house to arrest you for calling them out. In this country we are living in all. So first, let me read some of uh, the public uh, statement EFCC released as at yesterday. But EFCC explains presence of operatives at Dorothy Bachelor's house. The attention of the EFCC has drawn to a post on Instagram by one Dorothy alleging that operatives of the commission broke into our home in the early hours of today 23rd august 2021 the commission can confirm that operatives from the lagos command of the commission acting on verified intelligence executed a search warrant at a block of flat located in lekki area of lagos on monday 23rd august 2021 during which nine internet fraud stars suspects were arrested miss Dorothy apartment happened to be one of the flats in the building. EFCC operator has had knock on our entrance door, identified themselves as being from the commission on a mission to, exec uh, to execute a search warrant, but they were refused entry for several minutes by Dorothy's sister. The, the operator were left with no choice than to force their way in. Least suspect escape or destroy vital evidence. It is important to state that law abiding citizens have no reason to refuse the execution of a validly obtained search warrant. And contrary to the information making the rounds in the social media, Mrs. Dorothy was not present during the operation and the anti EFCC story about her coming out half naked among under. Others' details appear to have been inverted to fix the pattern she and other internet fouled stars so desperately want to push about the EFCC. It is important to, well, they said that Dorothy wasn't present and uh, of course they knocked severally on Dorothy's door, but uh, Dorothy's sister refused them entry so they had no any other choice than to break it down. So they came back oh, to try to, I don't know, to try to speak but they ended up picking Dorothy and uh, why this was all happening is quite a fortune too she also posted a video about it and uh, this one was coming from priest who is also a former baby ninja he said I am still trying to understand this you broke into our house she woke up you lied in your press release then returned to pick her up EFCC what is this op op oppression I'm leaved. Just spoke to Dora now. She's fine and currently on her way home. Thank to everyone that spoke up and showed concern for her well-being. It's quite unfortunate, man. Someone speak up in this country is a really... You are doomed. You are going down for it. So, is that the new normal now? Is, now? is that what we are going to now? Is that what you want to be showing us? That if you do us anything, we talk out, then we are doomed. Come on now, it's quite really unfortunate. That is no way to go, man. <laughs> EFCC, every other security agency just want to. Uh, and I had even uh, VIHO and Road Safety, they are planning to be giving them arms. <laughs> they are already deliberated that currently uh, as we speak. They are deliberating on it if they should start giving their hand. Every security agency in this country don't just want to carry harm so that they want to in, uh, oppress citizens. It's quite unfortunate. And uh, guess what? 
David Doe may have finally forgiven Israel. You already know Israel is one of uh, David Doe's PA. And uh, we already know he's, he also talked loud. Talk too much. I think that was the reason why David Doe decided to just you no know, show in Pepe. Over that incident that happened between Oshpopi and Abakari. Or, uh, Israel openly supported Abakari. And meanwhile, David Doe wasn't happy about that. So immediately... Uh, call his lawyer to sack Israel, but uh, after so much begging and pleading, it seems like David was giving him last warning. But uh, they are together though, and uh, Israel posted a uh, picture and also thank the lawyer and uh, David Do right hand man Lati. I think those are the two persons who actually talked to David Do to just forgive Israel. Well, let's see if he's going to keep his mouth shut. Yeah. Then guys, uh, check out what Pretty Mind said recently. And honestly, I think uh, this is a really, really good advice. He said, the same people that were shouting, Neo does it deserve V during the reunion and now shouting God when listening to what people at your own weeks. Listen to what people at your own weeks. For those of you who are familiar with uh, with the incident between Neo and and V, they were for, former BB Niger housemates, so they were dating the house, came outside dating as well. So a lot of uh, viewers, fans think that uh, Neo is a playboy, and meanwhile V is just deceiving herself. Was one that they are not good with each other. But guess what? During V birthday party, Neo went all out to make sure V had a very wonderful birthday, uh, birthday party and uh while he was doing that people were also gushing about him say oh god when the, the lesson here is that if you listen to people's voice i will tell you oh, leave that guy leave that girl that girl don't deserve you or leave that guy that guy don't deserve you you are just wasting your time all so on and so forth i'm telling you guys do not listen you have to know for yourself if you that guy truly deserve you or not if you are doing the right thing or not only you know what is happening in your relationship nobody can tell you otherwise and uh let's move over to international news and this one is coming from nairobi it's a resident face 12 months in jail for blowing nose without handkerchief spitting on the street in nairobi if you spit on the street in nairobi or blow your nose without an handkerchief you will be fine or you will go to 12 months in jail resident of nairobi kenya rigs up to 12 months jail time if they are caught blowing their nose without handkerchief or tissue in public or spitting on the street according to a newly passed bill well don't try that in nigeria just imagine this kind of uh, bill is implemented in somewhere like abuja lagos or lagos how will you guys cope how will this or this agbero who will just pour water pure water raise their mouth for everywhere spitting 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 <laughs> well please allow us to spit in peace allow people to spit in peace well uh let me know if you love that kind of uh regulation to be implemented in somewhere like nigeria nigeria lady disqualified from getting a room in new york usa for testing the owner at 5 a.m she said good morning easter blog my sister was disqualified for getting an apartment at new york because she sent a text at 5 a.m we did really enjoy for ninja She sent this man a text. She said, good morning. I will need two minimum room for one and my friend. I can make payment today. And the person replied, sorry, I can't talk right now. She said, okay, was waiting for your reply. What's your maximum price? It's not nice keeping me mute. Then <laughs> he said, I told you the price is 1,100 days a credit check, background check, eviction check, and interview. The price is non-negotiable. And texting people at 5 a.m. is rude. You are disqualified for you are disqualified for this room. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you very much. It's good. How can you be texting someone at 5 a.m.? 
And honestly, some people know me very well who have called me. I will just sit and my uh, Instagram will just ring, just ringing all the time. It's really, really annoying. At least chat me first. I'm not saying you can't chat. When you chat me and I'm not available, I'm definitely going to see the message. See the message, then reply to you. But uh, some people, without any kind of appointment, they will call you by 10, 11, 12, 9. Like, four, as early as 4 a.m. For what? It's not as if I owe you. If you have anything to tell me, hello, hi, please give me appropriate, appropriate time to call you. Or just tell me, hello, hi, I would like to discuss with you. If you have time, please try to chat. Simple as that. Well, uh, thank you for disqualifying her. I really love what the man did. And uh, check out this girl who shared a video of what a, an apartment he recently visited, a Lagos big boy apartment she recently visited. She said, this is the kitchen of a Bini big boy I visited. Sorry, Bini, not Lagos. This is a kitchen of a Bini big boy I visited during the weekend. Biko stop looking at me like that. I asked Oga why his house looks so dirty and unkept. He told me his cleaner hasn't been around for today, for days. Oga, do you mean that you cannot clean your house in in the absence of a cleaner? Oga replied, "That is why I need you in my life." Holy Ghost fire, sir. I. It's not me you will need in your life, Jesus' name. Anyway, I cleaned some part of cooking area, prepared noodles, ate, had my home pile of dirty dish to the sink, watched Netflix, and left. I was supposed to stay for the whole of the weekend, but I cannot can because everywhere looks so untidy. I will come back when the cleaner re lady returns. My mother did not bring me to this world to be a cleaner, to a badly raised man. I come in peace. She said, anyway, uh, anyway, I cleaned some part of the cooking area, prepared noodles, ate, had my home pile of dirty dish to the, uh, dishes to the sink, watched Netflix and left. But you never measure if you F the guy. Did you have sex with you guy? Are you sure you just ate, watched Netflix and left? I know I, I strongly disbelieve that. I don't believe it. And meanwhile, of course, you are not a cleaner. You can go. Someone who will teach him, who will nurture him, will definitely come. So everybody is not meant for everybody. So you as a lady, just clean your own. Go. So you want everywhere to be clean, Abby, so that you can come inside to, a, to an already made man. Who have uh, his shit together just to come and just come and chop and then go sleep? Open your big head, your big body there on top of bed, watch their face, then wake up and cleaner will be coming to clean everywhere. Girl, you see how girls they miss them. You see, you see how some girls they miss them. Of course, the guy, Alpha, the, that house is way even dirtier than I thought. Man, man, this is wrong. This is wrong, guy. You f up. How can this guy leave his house so dirty? Come on, man. But at the same time, they are both wrong. That girl, oh, eh? Well, a keeper will always be a keeper. A good girl will always be a good girl. It no, it's it's not it's not that it's necessarily that you must be a cleaner or your mother didn't bring you to this life to be a cleaner. Let us be sincere. Good girls are good girls. There are some girls that will come there, help that guy to clean the house and just leave. So leave the conscience, that guy's with his conscience. So you are not a keeper. You are just uh, a flexor. So someone who just want to eat and go. I beg, Joe. And so if the guy has dirty, but that guy has to dirty you. My house can't be dirty as, as that, honestly. Can't. Never. Never, never, never. And uh, here's another lady as well, also lamented that she got blocked. She said, one guy on my WhatsApp posted a picture of him on the boat last month. I jokingly commented, see as you fresh and fine. Let me know when you are single. And we both laughed. 
only for him to message me last night say tina i am now single i told him i was joking and he blocked me now wow so people don't know jokes again i am so pained he blocked me hey, why no go block you someone is looking for someone to chill with and then you see you told him to call you if he is single he then uh, 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 did respected you informed you that yes he's single that you guys can talk and yet you are talking that uh, you are you are just joking so simple and short until the next one he blocked you he blocked you well he blocked you well. in this video guys uh here's another really heartbreaking domestic violence story it's about her husband who regularly beat his wife it's a month after allegedly making her lose her pregnancy man again assault his wife over a dress it's a former university lecturer has been accused of beating his wife over a dress she wanted to wear to their to their child's graduation ceremony it was gathered that the alleged assault occurred on saturday august 21st 2021 at their residence in Abia state according to source they have been married for seven years and have three kids he's fond of beating her at the slightest provocation Apparently, he beat her up last Saturday and stabbed her all over her body because she said he didn't like what she wanted to wear to their daughter's graduation ceremony. He tore the dress into pieces and all of this happened in the presence of their kids. Three months ago, the lady, the lady was pregnant with twins and he kept beating her until the twins died in her womb. At seven months, she went in and she went she was in and out of the hospital and almost died from bleeding my friend is still there because she is scared of leaving and her confidence level right now is zero she needs help she can't speak out she can't hear she can't hear with one ear right now as a result of the constant beating abba <laughs> I don't like all those kind of uh, domestic violence stories, honestly. It pisses me off. It seriously pisses me off, guys. I swear to God. It pisses me off. It seriously pisses me off, guys. I don't like the moment. It really pisses me off. Seriously. Ha. Huh. Please. He, the man hates her. Those of you who you see your husband beating you, he, he just hates you. Seriously. It's quite unfortunate. I think she really do need help. There are people who oh, their husband will beat them, their boyfriend will beat them, their confidence will just reduce to zero. They will find nothing worthless. They will be so worthless in a way that it's quite it's it's really it's really sad, confusing, and tiring. I just pray somebody help her. Some men are really, really wicked. Well guys, thank you very much for watching support again. Adam Sling. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed.